So by now, most of you are aware of the foundational strategies you need to implement if you want to lower your risk of developing COVID-19 or the SARS-CoV-2 infection, like vitamin D optimization and metabolic flexibility and eliminating your insulin resistance. But one of the pervasive recommendations is to lower your stress. Why? Because stress isn't just something in your brain. It actually gets distributed through your body and causes physical reactions that result in many cases of an increase in inflammatory cytokines, these signaling small pro protein molecules in your body that modulate uh, the way your tissues work. So there are fortunately many strategies that can effectively address these stressors. And we're gonna talk about some of the most important ones in this interview. Anxiety is a physiological response to a threat. Your whole body's on fire. When you decrease anxiety, decrease cytokines, is decrease that stress response. So again, if your body is inflamed, you're gonna feel anxious. You have to feel safe. And what happens, that's not a psychological construct, that is when you feel safe, there's a profound shift in your body's chemistry. You're going from adrenaline, cortisol, and histamines, and what we call inflammatory cytokines, to growth hormone, um, dopamine, serotonin, the GABA drugs, all these incredible hormones, and also anti-inflammatory kinds. So there's a profound shift in the body's chemistry and people's pain disappears. People that are pain free, they don't just manage the pain, the pain disappears. The virus, of course, is the threat. You want your immune system to respond. And of course, the vast majority of people fight off the virus very quickly. But the elephant in the room, the obvious factor that has to be looked at is that almost every person that dies from COVID has, quote, risk factors. What I discovered again through Dr. Clausen is that every one of these risk, risk factors has elevated inflammatory markers. People in chronic pain die on the average about seven years earlier than the average person. Seven years, that's a long time. Double heart disease, double depression, double anxiety, double the suicide. And it's all about this inflammatory markers. In my brochure, it's called Thrive and Survive because we know stress kills people. I now know it's because of the cytokines and other markers. And so the key is that as you train your body to thrive, then you survive. <laughs> 